Hey friends, welcome back and welcome if you are new. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to be going outside and I'm going to be starting on cleaning up my backyard and doing a little bit of gardening. So if that's the type of content that you like to watch, please make sure to stay tuned. Now, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get through everything. My main focus today is going to be weeding, taking a whole bunch of weeds out that I just completely neglected towards the end of last year. Really, like once July hit, which is our hottest month, July, August, that's around the hottest time of the year here in South Carolina. So around that time, I just kind of neglected my garden. And so of course, the weeds started taking over. So I'm gonna go over there and start taking those weeds out. And I wanna show you kind of a before and after. If I were to record the whole process of me taking the weeds out, that would be way, way too long. So I'm just gonna maybe show you uh, what it's looking like right now. And then I'll show you what it looks like after I take the weeds out. And like I said, this is gonna be probably a whole week's worth of just tons and tons of work, you guys. I have so many weeds to take out. And then after that, I have to probably transplant some of my plants, just move them from one spot to another because I have some new plants. They're gonna be more like permanent planting, so I have to make room for them. So I'm just gonna get out there and start weeding. And so yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time that I upload a new video. Now here in my channel, you will find a DIYs, shot with me videos and hauls lots of home decor inspiration and since we are in the spring season i will be sharing some gardening as well so if this is the type of content that you enjoy watching please make sure to stay tuned all right you guys this is day two and before we get started i'm going to go ahead and show you the progress that i made yesterday so let me turn you around and show you so as you can see, I have removed some of the weeds around my perennials to try to encourage my perennials to grow because I don't want any weeds um, impeding their growth. So I tackled that area first, but as you can see, I have tons and tons more weeds to remove. Good morning guys. So I'm out here trying to get some gardening done before um, it gets hot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Today is day three and for day one and two I only got to work out here for like an hour, maybe two hours each day. I feel like I've gotten a little bit of progress out in the garden but hoping to get a lot more done today since I get to stay home. So let me turn you around and show you what it's looking like. Still haven't done anything over here. I've mainly focused my time and energy on this side over here. I don't know if you can tell, but it was full of weeds just like it is over here. So you see all that? And that's what this side was looking like and I've cleared it up pretty well and the reason why I started here is because this is where I've got all of my perennials that I planted last year so I just wanted to make sure that I was clearing that area out to see what perennials made it through the winter and luckily you guys all of them have made it I'm not quite sure about two months that I've planted but it's all right if they didn't make it I kind of was thinking I was going to pull them out anyway but everything else is coming up as you can see and I'm really excited to continue cleaning this up and then plant up some of my new plants 
Hey guys, so I've been taking a little break. I did a lot of gardening, um, a lot of weeding. Just like, it seems like it's a never ending chore, right? For those of you who like to garden, you totally feel me, right? But I was gardening out there from like eight in the morning until about 11. And now it is, what time is it? It's almost five o'clock. So I am ready to get back out there. I've made quite a bit of progress, I would say, but I still have tons and tons of work to do. So I'm gonna show you what everything is looking like and then I'll get back started on that never ending weeding. <laughs> so let's go take a look. By the way, you guys, don't mind me. I know I look like a crazy person. Um, <laughs> that's just how gardening goes. So anyways, just thought I'd put that out there. Um, let's go ahead now and get started. All right, let me show you the progress. Ugh. Look at the holes, you guys. Oh my word. That's what happens when you have doggies that like to dig. But anyways, it's okay. I'm going to be putting a big um ornamental type of shrub or tree right here so that's okay um this is what everything is looking like right now and as you can see i do have some plants that have budded up that have started growing and this is what it's looking like look at all the weeds and things that i've removed <laughs> from this area looking way better but still have tons and tons of work to do and that is what it's looking like so today I don't know if I've said this already it's day three and this is the progress that I've made so I'm gonna get back to working and then I'll show you what it looks like by the end of today Hi guys, good morning. It is what fourth, the fourth day of me working out in my garden. If you guys love gardening, you know that it takes days, it takes work to establish your garden. But anyways, you guys, I'm not gonna be rambling too much for you. I just wanna let you know that it is getting there. I will be showing you kind of what plants I got out there today. But first, I will be working on my flower bed. The idea today is to expand it, to make it a little bit deeper because of some new plants that I got and I'm super excited about them. So I'm just gonna be giving you a small little tour. Um, there's nothing much to see just yet because it is early spring and things are just now starting to leaf out and bud out. Um, so not much to see just yet you guys, but again, my garden is a new garden. I just started it last year and I do wish that I had started with, um, my shrubs and my like anchor pieces first, but instead I went crazy last year and bought all the pretty perennials that I've kind of always just wanted. And yeah, that was not a good move on my part, but 
you live and you learn you know and especially with gardening it's all about the learning process and the journey so definitely a lot that i need to change out there so i'm gonna go out there and to start working on it start expanding the bed and after i'm done with that i'll go in and show you um what plants i got going out there and kind of where i plan on moving them possibly so i'm just gonna go out there and get started and towards the end of this video i will go ahead and tell you about my plants oh you guys it feels so nice out here so nice but anyways i'm gonna start by showing you my very sad limelight hydrangea that I bought from I think it was a quart size um, last year and my dogs did a little number on it but it's still alive you guys so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig it up and pot it up and trim it down because it has a crazy shape right now and I'm just gonna rehab it and, until it's a nice and well shaped plant I guess because I mean it's not unhealthy or anything it's just misshapen from it getting trampled over by my dogs <laughs> and over here I have some echinacea that is starting to leaf out I'm not quite sure what happened to this one you guys I don't know it looks like it got cut or something I almost wonder if our landscape people did this or we also have a groundhog that lives behind our backyard and it a lot of times makes its way into our backyard and I'm not sure if that's what happened here or like I said if it was our landscape people that thought that maybe it was a weed but that's what's going on here just hoping it still has leaves so pretty sure it will flush back up but that's what is there and over here another poor plant that has been getting trampled over and I just need to move it to a different spot this is a denim and lace Russian sage that's what that is and it is still alive as you can see there's a little bit of growth starting to happen. Over here, I have a purple fountain grass. Not quite sure if it's going to be perennial here in my area. And by the way, you guys, I garden in zone eight. So yeah, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be perennial for me or not. I'm going to give it some time before taking it out. Um, I mean, I will be taking it out because I'm going to be moving some things around. But we will just have to wait and see if it's going to make it through. Then over here, I have some pink dianthus. I have three of those. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are um, Cat's Pajamas Nepeta. And again, I'm not quite sure why these are smaller right here. <laughs> My dog. Max! Um, but you can see they're starting to grow and I'm really excited about those. These are just weeds that I need to dig out. This right here is a Lunar Magic Crepe Myrtle and it's absolutely beautiful, you guys. I will be moving it though to a different location, but as you can see, it's starting to leaf out and it has the most beautiful dark purple, kind of burgundy, almost black leaves to them i know they look really bright right now but as they age they turn much darker and they bloom this beautiful beautiful white blooms so that's what that's looking like back here have three um achillea achillea or yarrow that has pink blooms i have another 
Russian sage here. Another one right here. And then I have Liatris or Liatris. Oh, how do you say that, you guys? Is it Liatris, Liatris? Um, I have one, two, and where's my third one? Oh, right here. Three. And this one is a little bit later than the other ones. But it's still coming up, so I'm super excited. And then over here, these little mounts that you see here, they will be coming back up. As you can see, it's starting to show signs of growth. Have one, two, and three. Those are pink moldy grass. And what else? I did have a mom's right here. But I'm not quite sure if they're going to make it. And if they don't, it's okay. Not too attached to them. I was thinking of moving them anyways. Um, but I do have, like I said, the denim and lace russian sage i have four or maybe five of those and those are beautiful and then i'm going to walk you over to the other end i don't have anything planted in this area but there are awesome things soon to come over here i have a notches crepe myrtle and they bloom these really big, beautiful, um, wide blooms. And it's leafing out. So I'm so excited that it made it through the winter. And then over here is my other limelight hydrangea. So this is definitely doubled in size, you guys. Like I said, when I bought it, it was in a quart size nursery can and it's doing great you guys it is in full full sun and it's not sun scorched or anything so these are great great plants and they're sun loving so if you've always wanted to have hydrangeas but you live in a um, sunny place that gets really hot these will do the trick for you definitely recommend this type of hydrangea and it's a panicle or paniculata so in case that you were wondering and are interested in buying some. I definitely recommend that before you decide to plant anything in the ground, especially if it's a pricier plant, make sure that you do the research and figure out what zone you garden in and try to make sure to plant things that are gonna do well in your area. But that is all you guys. So my plan for today is to, I'm going to move the fire pit area further out because I will be expanding the flower bed um, a couple of feet out, maybe like five or six feet out, something like that. We'll see um, to make way for my new plants. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you are still watching, thank you so much for your support. I hope that I'm able to inspire you to tackle your own backyard and garden projects. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time that I upload a new video. And hopefully you will stick around. So here I'm going to be measuring out how far I want to expand my flower bed. I'm trying to make sure that I'm giving these Leyland Cypress enough room to reach their full mature size as well as giving the hydrangeas enough room as well. So I'm making sure to measure it all before I go ahead and start edging.
And there is Maxi. So I just want to go ahead and show you quickly how far I guess I'm going to be expanding the flower bed. So I'm just going to walk you through and hopefully you can see that line of demarcation and how much I will be expanding to make way for my new plants. So I'll definitely have to move the fire pit. You can see it goes right to the fire pit. And here's the view from the side. Alright guys, so first snag of the day. Got a huge, huge rock that is stuck in the tiller. And so I'm gonna have to and to bolt this to be able to take the blade off and remove the rock and then bolt it back on. So I thought I'd share this with you guys so that you know that you run into things and it doesn't go as smoothly as you would like it to. So if this happens to you, believe me, you're not the only one. <laughs> Alright, so let me fix this real quick and then we'll start tilling. And there it is, you guys. Look at the size of this rock, you guys. Ugh. It was a pain to take it out. Really had to use some force there to take it out, but luckily I was able to. Now I'm just hoping that I'm able to screw it back on tight so that the blade doesn't come off as I am tilling the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together just like I took it apart and... Hope for the best. Oh, the joys of gardening, you guys. At least the tiller is fixed, so I'm gonna get back to gardening. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that's mainly the process to tilling this area. So I'm just gonna keep at it and I will show you the final result. Hey right, guys, well, this is as far as I'm gonna go, I think for now. I think I'm pretty much done tilling. I'm a hot, sweaty mess. Um, but I'm gonna turn you around and show you what it looks like and how much I've added to the flower bed. Hopefully you can see you guys, it's pretty sunny now, but you can see how much I've added pretty much from where these um, flowers are from here on, it's where I've added. I'm really excited you guys, so the next step I'm going to be doing is 
kind of edging the border all over again just to make sure I have a nice line going. Yep, so this is what I've been working at for most of the day today. Now the soil is nice and fluffy and I've gotten most of the weeds out. I know there's still weeds, you guys, and this is probably not the right way of doing this. But again, I'm not a professional and I'm doing this all by myself, working with what I have. And yeah. It worked for me last year, so I'm pretty confident that it'll it'll be really good at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside, take a break, eat some lunch, hang out with my son for a bit, and then later on today, um, I'm gonna come back out here and work on my edging. And possibly, you guys, I might be able to, sorry about the shaking, uh, but possibly I'll be able to plant my new plants So that's what I've got going so far. I do have to go and pick up some mulch to add to this bed But it's looking good so far All right here we have all of our bags of mulch that we picked up from Walmart They are 222 per bag which I think is pretty affordable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and like I mentioned before, I'm gonna go ahead and edge the bed. And then I'll show you the plants that I'm going to be planting on here. All right, you guys. Well, it's time for me to share my plants with you that I got. Um, I got the limelight hydrangea from proven winners and it was $27.98 per plant and I got three of these and then last year I got two of them but they were in the quart size so I paid about the same just because I ordered them from proven winners online so I ended up spending a little bit more on shipping, but you guys, I think these plants are so worth it and I'm so happy that I'm going to be adding some more. Now, these plants grow to be 6 to 8 feet tall and about 4 to 6 feet wide. So they're going to be pretty big and I'm really excited about watching them grow and filling up some space. Um, and I'm also going to be using some of the Espoma um, starter, Biotone starter fertilizer. Um, I'm going to be putting some of this in each one of the holes that I dig for each plant. So that's about it, you guys. Well, the Limelight Hydrangea is a hydrangea called Panicula paniculata or panicle hydrangea and it does really well in the sun um, like I said I planted some last year that were quart sized and they did great it did not scorch or anything under the intense heat of the south um, I do live in the south and it gets pretty hot and humid here in the summer and they were in full sun and like I said they did not scorch at all not even with the fact that they were baby plants, um, they did great. So now I'm gonna be planting some more. All right, so I got them spaced out pretty much where I want them. So now I'm gonna get to digging. Again, if you are still watching, thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate your support 
and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel for more decorating ideas as well as gardening and everything in between all right well that is all to it guys i'm gonna go ahead and plant the other two but you get the gist of it and so you should give it a try as well all right you guys well i am out in the garden again today today i think it's day five and i'm just gonna try to finish up everything today today is sunday so that means tomorrow i have to be back to work um so my goal is definitely to finish up today this project but who knows you guys i'll try but i can't guarantee it so today i'm going to work on transplanting a few of the plants that i planted last year and then i'm going to be edging and mulching so that is the plan for today hopefully i get it all done fingers crossed and i'm going to show you how i ended yesterday before we get started all right so here we are friends this is how much I got done yesterday. So as you can see, I think I added a good three to four feet to my flower bed, as you can see from kind of where these plants are down to this side. I've added three to four feet right there. So that's gonna be giving the hydrangeas plenty of room to grow to their full size. Then I have over here all of my mulch lined up and ready to go. And all of these perennials that you see here are going to be the ones that I probably will be transplanting to other locations here in the flower bed. I love how everything is looking, you guys. Look at my limelight. I just have one more limelight that I need to transplant. And my limelight over there is looking pretty sad. I need to water it. But that's what it's looking like. And then I did transplant. Uh, let's see, over here. The last thing I did last night was transplant my um, Lunar Magic Crepe Myrtle. That's the last thing I transplanted and I think this is going to be the perfect spot. It's going to get full sun, which Crepe Myrtles love. And that's all I got done. Now I have to move this Crepe Myrtle, which is a not just Crepe Myrtle and it gets pretty big. going to be transplanting it to the other end over there but yes you guys like I said I have to transplant a few things then edge and then mulch um, and that should be it for today but I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done since it's quite a bit of plants that I have to figure out where I want to transplant to but I will show you my progress at the end of today all right, you guys, well, everything has been transplanted. I think I just have one plant that I need to transplant and I haven't done it yet because it's pretty much gonna go right where our fire pit is at. And I don't wanna risk replanting it now or transplanting it right now and then possibly stepping on it, damaging it or anything while we are removing the fire pit which we are going to still have our fire pit but we're just gonna um, kind of relocate it but this is what everything's looking like really happy with the outcome now I'm gonna get um, pretty much ready to edge and then mulch. Now I will be linking this tiller down below. I got it from Amazon. And then my edging I also got from Amazon and I will be linking those things below in case you are interested. Now I have my tiller over here because I do wanna till this area. This is where the plants were that I um, 
transplanted or some of them were. So I want to till it, make it nice and fluffy back here because eventually I do want to plant some shade plants back here. Um, so I do want to go ahead and do that right now before putting the mulch down. But the first thing I'm going to tackle is the edging along this side because I found that if I didn't put an edge, which I figured this would happen because this edging I did um, by last year, it just arrived really, really late. In fact, I had to cancel my order because it was delayed three times. And again, this was when all the craziness was happening last year, 2020, you know. So everybody was wanting to do a lot of gardening and all that good stuff. So there was a lot of um, shortage of certain supplies. And so I think that's the reason why it was delayed three times. And by the third time, I just canceled my order. And then a few months passed by and... I found that they had it back in stock. I ordered it again and this time around it got here on time but because it was later in the season and it was so so hot outside I just didn't get about to putting the edging up. But if I don't put that edging up you guys the mulch will just kind of slide down this slope we have right here which you guys I don't understand whoever built this house why they didn't put the fencing above over here before the slope like I understand that that's part of our property but if it would have been me I would have put this um, fence up before the slope so I had to get creative because of course we don't want to go out and like spend a bunch of money on fencing and I put some evergreens right here many years ago I think like maybe five years ago planted up these evergreens I planted four but two of them died and then I planted this one last year and it's already doubled in size um and this one I know it looks bad right here it did get um what is that called blight it got blight like last year so that's why it's looking like that but it's already flushing back out so i'm very hopeful that it will be okay but these evergreens get really really big you guys they are only like maybe halfway there but my idea behind it is that they completely conceal this drop back here and then also once the hydrangeas are nice and big that will help as well to conceal the fact that there's a drop back here so that is the plan so i'm gonna work on putting the edging like i said so that my mulch doesn't slide off that slope all right you guys well here is the progress so far it is looking so good so excited Definitely not finished yet, but I think it's looking pretty good. So I went today and picked up a couple of bags of mulch because we were definitely, well, we ran out basically. So I ran to Walmart after work and got some more. Almost there, you guys. Almost there. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Alright guys, well this is what it's all looking like. I'm pretty much done. This spot right here, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm skipping mulch right here for now. Or for today, just because I have to transplant this plant. This is the last plant that I, that I need to transplant. I need to go ahead and move it over there. Where you see that other missing patch of mulch and the reason why I haven't transplanted that yet is because I have to move this fire pit like I said already I think I'm gonna move it I'm not quite sure where yet I think I'm going to be moving it right about here I think I'm not quite sure like I said I think that's the plan for now so once I move that I'll be able to finish my edging 
once I finish my edging, I'll transplant that plant over here and then I'll finish mulching. If I mulch right now, it would be a waste of mulch because not really a waste of mulch, but I just don't want to get my nice fresh mulch all dirty, if that makes any sense. So I'm skipping that for now, but that's how everything is looking. Looking really good and nice and fresh. And I'm really loving it. I love how much deeper the flower bed is now. Okay, and I don't know if I've already said this, but this is day six, I believe, of me working on this project. It's been a really long one, <laughs> but it's very gratifying at the same time. A lot of hard work, a lot of sweat, but I just love the end result, you guys. So satisfying. So tomorrow I'm going to definitely be working on moving that so that I can hopefully finish edging and hopefully transplant and mulch. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have enough time to do it all tomorrow. Today is Monday so I did have to go to work today and I go back to work or I work all this week. So whatever I'm able to get done after work that's what I'm going to do. Taking it one day at a time. But I love how it's looking, you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and water my plants. And those are my neighbor's kids playing outside. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day seven and hopefully the last day of me working out in my garden. Um, or at least like in my garden project because when does gardening ever end, right? There's always something to do out there in the garden and I truly do love it. But as far as this project goes, today should be the last day of me working out there. Fingers crossed at least because I am pretty tired. Like I said, it's day seven of me working out there. I did take um, a two day break from working out there because I've just, I've been tired, you guys. I'm exhausted. Um, so as much as I've enjoyed the process, I am ready to be done with this and just enjoy my garden, lay back, and just enjoy the fruit of my labor, you know? So I'm going to go out there. The last thing that I need to do is move that fire pit, um, finish that little bit of edging, and then mulch that little section. I do need to transplant one plant, but that shouldn't take too long. Hopefully it doesn't get dark because it is 7 already and the sun is still shining, but right around 8, 8.30, that's when the sun goes down. So I'm kind of gonna rush against time here and try to get this project finished. So let's go ahead and get started. Now for this portion of the project, my husband did help me. He helped me uh, disassemble our fire pit, which I am super grateful for because at this point I was really, really exhausted, you guys. I had been working on this project for a little over a week and so that extra help really came in handy. Now I'm really sorry you guys for the very long video and if you stuck around for the whole thing, thank you so so much for your support. But as you may understand that 
If I stopped to break this up into maybe two or three videos, then I would have had to stop my project in between to edit and share those videos with you guys. So I just wanted to get it done as quickly as I possibly could because again, I am kind of racing against time trying to get this done before the intense heat comes in, which it should be arriving around may or so so i just wanted to get it done because i did not want to be working out there this hard while the intense heat of the summer was here All right, you guys, well, here is the final result. I could not be happier about how everything turned out. I think everything looks absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait for everything to grow and see the changes happening throughout the season. And I will definitely be coming back and showing you um, or updating you on how everything is looking. So please make sure to stay tuned. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Also, have you guys been working on your garden so far this year? If you have, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what kind of projects you have been working on out in your backyard or in your garden. So comment down below.
And here's a view from the second story of our house, so you get a better idea of what everything looks like out there. I love it, you guys. I am so proud of myself for achieving this all on my own. And we still have tons of work to do out there, but this is definitely getting the ball rolling. And I am excited to see what the future holds. More updates to come. All right, you guys, we finally made it to the end of this project. Thank you so much if you stuck around for this whole video. And if you found it inspiring or helpful in any way, please don't forget to give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, friends, bye.